everybody, Matt Bird Finds here. So in our very first video on this channel, we went to an auction for Laura's mom. So in this video, Laura's mom actually found an online auction and found some stuff for us. Can you see Big Dixie in the video? <laughs> Dixie's just, joining us. Just her tail. <laughs> oh, there's half of her face. There's her face. Oh, hi Dixie. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, so Joy found an auction online and found some stuff for us. Yeah, it's a great way to do an auction, you know. You can do it from home, on your computer. It's fun. So was it local? Yes. Okay. So yeah, so Laura and Joy went and picked up some stuff just the other night. And we're going to go through some boxes. Laura just brought the stuff over and we're going to see what you've got. Yeah. Okay, so this very first thing is very interesting. <laughs> Yeah, we, I don't really know what it is. It's like a little weather machine. <laughs> a weather machine. Okay, so it, it's very mid-century. Yes. We'll start with the things we do know. Yes. It's very mid-century. It's true to the time. It was, it's vintage. It's, it's not a reproduction. It's, it was made in, you know, yes. that era. There are some dials in here. There is a temperature dial in Fahrenheit. There is a, a, yeah, I don't know. There's a dial in here that says change, very dry, stormy. I don't think these dials work any longer. Um, if they do, I'm not seeing that they're really doing anything. And then there is a dial that says relative high grow. Is that what that says? Mm-hmm. But yeah, it was, it's got a tag on it, made in West Germany. So, I mean, it's, it's cool. Yeah, and you know, mid-century, um, in that era, one of the design motifs is, you know, they call it atomic. Yeah. Because, you know, they were fascinated with the moon landing and all right. that kind of stuff, yeah. So yeah, I mean, even though it doesn't work, I mean, maybe somebody could get it to work if they, if they knew how, but... I don't think it is, but still, it's it's a really cool piece, and that's a really good find. Yeah, I love it. Okay, so do you want to talk about this next piece <laughs> that your mom found? I love that. I don't know if I can let that go or not, but uh, I guess we will. I guess we'll put it on eBay and see. But it is just so vintage. Probably, I don't know if it's 60s or 70s, but I mean... The colors, um, the material, that fiberglassy kind of thin material, um, yeah. the quirkiness that it stacks and then it's labeled, it just screams vintage, uh, probably 70s is probably what it is. And probably everybody's mom or grandmother had Tupperware in these colors, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> everybody's kitchen had that color, some of that color, harvest gold, avocado green. Yeah, I think Those that's super cute. Colors. It's very retro. Very retro. This is a really cool find. You're going to have to tell your mom that this is awesome. Yeah, I love that. All right, let's see what else we've got in here. Mary Beth, you're not a big Magnolia fan. You're not going to appreciate this. <laughs> is it a Magnolia? It's a Magnolia. You sure it's not a dogwood? It's not a dogwood. <laughs> it looks dogwood. Like, it looks kind of like a dogwood to me. No. Nikki's shaking her head back there behind the camera. <laughs> it's not a Thanks dogwood. Thanks a lot. Hmm. It's a magnolia. It's similar <laughs> to a dogwood. Very vintage. Came, uh, you know, all these items came right out of a house that hadn't been redecorated since the 60s or 70s. And so, you know, I feel sure that all these items are vintage. I really like that finish, how the, the glaze looks kind of cracked. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? I really like that. We'll take a, an, a uh, detail shot and have that with our eBay. Yeah, that's crazing, and that's true crazing. Now, they these days, you they'll fake that. You know, um, we'll pick up a piece sometime that has fake crazing, you know. So Not to be confused with crazing. <laughs> Is that not funny? Wah, wah. <laughs> so yeah, this is an ashtray with a dogwood slash magnolia <laughs> blossom. If you insist. No, it's a, you're right. It's a magnolia blossom. I'm just giving you a hard time. But um, yeah, I mean, it's kind of cool. It's got a little mark on the back. What do you think that is? Zero, two, two, eight? I don't mm -hmm. know what that means, but yeah. Yeah, I think, see, see the bottom? I think that was probably felted. 
you yeah. know, that's what people usually did. And somebody took it all off just to see, I think, just to see what the markings and stuff were on there. Gotcha. I don't know what the fate of ashtrays is going to be. I don't know if they're going to become super collectible because people don't really smoke anymore that much or if they're just going to fall by the wayside and really not have any value. But that's... That's a real vintage one from the time. So right. if you're going to save anything, I would save that one. Well, me personally, um, I took my grandmother's end tables and coffee table from her basement and refinished them. And one of the things that I really wanted to do was find a vintage ashtray to put on that coffee table because there was always an ashtray on that coffee table. It didn't look complete it without that complete ashtray on there. So I had that thought. I was like, I really need to find a really cool ashtray to put on this table. But even though I don't smoke, but... You know, who knows? I know it sounds kind of odd, but you'll hear people say, I've seen it on YouTube and stuff, they'll say that people put their uh, paintbrushes oh. in there, you know, because there's rests and stuff for the paintbrushes. That's kind of a cool use for it, I guess. I can see that. Yeah. Well, we might not get anything for that, but who knows? <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> up yet so who knows I don't know if this has any value or not I love it though <laughs> and what do you think Mary Beth well it's definitely very 70s I would say yeah it's super 70s it's I love the colors very bright colors um it's in good shape there's no tears there's no holes I'm trying to decide what the material is obviously is it a table cover I think it is. It's like a tablecloth? I think a... so. Because, you know, you put the undercloth on the tables. It used to be lamp tables or something like that. I know. They're not in style anymore. But lamp you know, tables? There's people out there know what I'm talking about. <laughs> no, they don't. You probably And so, don't. like, you would take a solid color cloth, and it would go all the way to the floor, and then this would be your top cloth that goes over it for decoration. It's kind of cute. I like it. I feel like this it's would be cute. in Megan Draper's house. <laughs> Definitely. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> Our game is that we do TV and movie references all the time, and the joke is, Laura, what's, what movie is that from, or what show is that from? It's Mad Men. Very good. Oh, you know what? I actually saw somebody t talking about that today. That just reminds me, like, but we would not be able to list this on eBay. You cannot say this is a Mad Men-style table cover because it's copyright infringement you get in all kinds of trouble it's keyword spamming or something like that we're learning as we go but maybe we better not say mad men yeah mad men mad men okay so we've got one more thing in the box this one's actually my favorite oh good i like when it's your favorite Do, is this your favorite yes all right i don't know the little snack thing was i don't know the snack i, I really like this though so this is a handmade glass bowl it's got some really really interesting detail work on the inside it's got one little would you call this a scallop what would you call this yeah i don't know when it's folded over like that i yeah. don't know if there's exactly a term for that i love it i don't know but it makes it easy to hold the whole thing is scalloped you know so yeah this is just really really cool i'm gonna actually take a detail shot with my camera and put this in the video so that you can see how cool this this design is it's definitely referred to as art glass mm -hmm. and it's definitely cased glass you know because all these little pieces and flecks and designs and everything are cased and they just call it case glass and it's most probably Murano and I know most people when they pick up a piece of art glass they say well that's Murano it would have a sticker that's no longer there um, so we can't be positive but my gosh, I, I would, yeah, I would definitely bet the farm on the fact that that's Murano glass. <laughs> She's going to bet the farm. <laughs> what farm? Now, if you disagree with me, be sure and comment below. Do you have a farm? No, I don't have a okay. farm. Okay, <laughs> well, that was a good try. Okay, well, I think this is really cool stuff. That's it, correct? Yes. Okay, so, I mean, those were some really cool retro slash vintage and or both mm -hmm. finds, and, uh, you're going to have to tell your mom, you know, thanks for checking those out for us and mm -hmm. bringing those home. And it was really cool. It was really awesome of her to do. Yeah, it was really, that's a lot of fun. All right. 
So um, be sure to give us a like. Um, let us know um, if you if you think that this little uh, atomic slash Sputnik <laughs> barometer, <laughs> I don't know what this is. Let us know if you think this can be fixed or who we can maybe contact to see if it can be fixed. Um, did I say leave us a like? Yes, I think you did. <laughs> and we said to comment. Um, so I don't know what else we say. Um, I guess tune in next time to see what Fat Bird finds next. See you next time.